Hi, and welcome to this short demonstration of the Checklist Moodle plugin activity. I'm going to be showing you the three main types of checklists which are available, uh, as well as some of the settings that you can choose. I'm already logged in as a student, so I'm going to go in and show you what a checklist look like, looks like. As you can see, each checklist can have various headings in it, as well as indentation, colours, optional items which do not contribute to the main progress bar and as well as due dates on items. Now I'm just going to tick off a few of these items and save that and now we can see that the progress bars have updated to reflect that. Now I'm going to log out as a student and log back in as a teacher to see what they can see. Right, now that I've logged back in as a teacher, I first want to point out this checklist block on the right hand side which shows the progress of each of the students through one of the checklists. You can configure that to show different checklists or have multiple blocks showing different checklists. Right now back to the checklist itself, if I click on it, we can see the preview of the checklist and we can click on the view progress screen and we can see a list of all the the checklist items that each of the students has checked off, including the four items which we checked off just a moment ago. If I go to the next checklist, this is slightly different from the first in that students are not able to tick off the items themselves. On this checklist, a teacher needs to click on the student and click on the little magnifying glass beside the student's name and the teacher is able to mark off each of the items on the checklist to say whether they have completed it successfully or not. The teacher also has the option of adding comments to any of the items such as here and those comments will be visible for the student. I've now logged back in as a student to demonstrate the third and final type of checklist activity uh, which is one that imports all the other activities and course modules into the checklist as so. As you can see all the activities from this course are now listed here except obviously for this, check this checklist that we're viewing at the moment. And just to prove that it's working, if I go to topic 2 and open up a forum, and then post a discussion in the forum, okay, and then I could switch across to the checklist. and we can see that has automatically been checked off. In this case I've been making use of the Moodle 2.0 course completion feature uh, but this could also work by looking through the log files for the course if the completion is not enabled. Well that's it for the checklist activity um, please feel free to get in touch if you've got any questions or want to know any more.